Let's fetch the data and save it in the component state. I will copy the endpoint URL. Let's get back to the code. And the data will be fetched inside component did mount lifecycle method. So will be component did mount. And inside I fetch it using just a fetch method. So response. And for async code, I will use async await. Await fetch. And for this to work, I need to mark component did mount method as async method. Okay, good. Now I get the data from the response. So const data is equal to await response JSON. And I can set the movies inside the state. So movies will be data search. I don't need the mock anymore. I initialize the state with an empty array. Let's get back to our app. Okay, it works just the same, but now the data is fetched from the API. I will display the list of movies using the flat list component. Flat list is very efficient when displaying list data. Elements that are not directly visible on the screen are not rendered. It handles also scrolling, so we don't need to use another scroll view component. Let's import flat list. I will plug it here. So flat list. Okay, and it takes several properties. So first, the data comes in a data property. So I pass the movies here. I define how each element in the list is rendered using render item. It takes a function as a parameter. This function takes an object with item property and I will rename it to movie. And now I can reuse this code and plug it directly here. I don't need this map anymore. Let's save. The movies are listed, but the key is missing. This is because flat list does not reuse key element from here. It uses another property that is called key extractor. So let's use it below key extractor equals it takes a function as a parameter that takes a single element a movie and should return a unique key that identifies this element for our case it will be imdb id now i move this key from here and when i save you can see that the list of movies printed and it's scrollable but it does not take full screen so let's add some style to the container so style equals style container and define it below with style sheet create api so style sheet create container to make it full screen, I set flex to one. I also need to import stylesheet API from React Native. Okay, now when I scroll, you can see that the list goes full screen. I want to keep the code inside render item simple. So I will extract a movie row to its own component. Let's go to Code Navigator and inside components I create movie row JS. Okay, I cut this code, import React from React, import view and text from React Native and export default function movie row 
that takes a movie as a parameter and return what we had previously. So just a component that renders movie title. Let's save it and import import movie row from components movie row. I don't need mock movies here anymore, so I cut it. And here I enter movie row directly and pass movie as a property. Okay, when I reload, you can see that the app works just the same. Inside a movie row, I want to display a small movie poster. Let's import image. And I will use it here. So image source. Source comes from the internet. So the URL of the image is poster property of the movies of the movie. So I put Yuri, Yuri, Yuri as movie poster. The image is not displayed because it is loaded over the network. So I need to set its dimensions explicitly. Let's give it a style styles poster. I import style sheet from React Native and now const styles style sheet create. poster so I will make it height 100 width 70 okay nice and I will use resize mode to contain okay I also want the title to be displayed right to the poster in a row so let's create a style for a movie row container. Style, and it is styles container. I define it here above the poster. So I will set flex direction to row. Okay, let's add some padding so that there's a space between the poster and the edge of our device. Padding five. Next to the title, I will display this this hard shaped icon so that you can like or unlike the movie. The icon comes from React Native Vector Icons package. So let's add it to our project. So yarn add React Native vector icons it's added now i need to just import it in movie row so import icon from react native vector icons this package comes with icons from different sources which you can import directly in our case i will use font awesome package so this is quite popular in the internet I can use the icon directly, so icon, name, so this open heart is heart O icon, let's save it, okay, it's here, but it's pretty small and black, so I will make it bigger with the size prop, so let's say 40, a bit smaller, so let's say 36, and color should be red okay i will also increase styling of the movie title so let's define style for it style no styles title i will make it font size let's say 24 okay nice let's make it thinner so font weight okay. 300 should be Good, okay, it looks nice. Now using flex, I will limit the space that the title take. For title, we will set flex to two. Okay, and I will wrap the 
icon element inside view so that we can define its arrangement. Okay, and this view will be styled with styles icon container. I will set flex to one. Okay, so the title takes two thirds of available space because it has flex two, so it's used proportionally and the icon container has flex one. Let's only center the title and the heart inside our main container. So I will set align items to center. Okay, and I will also center the heart inside its view. I set align items to center. Okay, this property should be named color, obviously. And one more thing, let's add some space between the poster and the title. So I will use it adding some margin left. So 10 should be good as well. Okay, we've got the list of movies displayed nicely.